Morning, pretty decent day today. So good day to swap out the old Tesla uh, vertical axis wind turbine and put a brand new uh, B and Creation uh, horizontal standard uh, turbine on. So the first job that we've got is to remove that from up at the top of the tower. So uh, that's the first task, get that off. Uh, check that in the bin, or I might, I might even eBay it for uh, spares if people are still playing around with it. And then we can replace it uh, with a newly uh, created uh, mounting shaft uh, and mounting plate. I had to sort of weld this all together. This is the uh, mounting plate that comes with the, the, this bit of kit. And here it is, the B in creation. This is a one kilowatt uh, turbine. Um, I did consider going for the 1.5 and 2, and I might upgrade it later, but I wanted to just see where the one kilowatt uh, turbine operates like. Um, you can see the data there. So that's... Um, I'll do a bit more of a review uh, of the quality of this side by side with the test up later, but I mean, basically that's that's what you've got. Three blades, um, the plates to uh, mount the blades on the front, and then just simply the uh, the three phase coming out of the bottom of the turbine. So I'll get on and uh, replace that and get it up the top and we'll do some uh, we'll do some comparisons. Cheers. Right, the uh, mounting section is on top of the tower. So that's all in place, bolted, welded, repainted. And uh, next stage is to get the new turbine on. Right, so before we put the uh, turbine on the tower, let's have a quick look at this. I said I'd do, I'm not going to do an in depth uh, uh, an in depth video on each piece and take it apart. Uh, there's a few on uh, YouTube if you want to do it. I think just to sort of uh, compare and contrast, particularly parts like this uh, versus things like the Tessup, this is very, very, very well made. It's uh, machined very well. They've used uh, proper uh, stainless steel nuts. The quality of the uh, uh, the bearings on, on the base flange are really, really good. The base flange itself is well machined. Um, tail fin looks okay. Nothing really much to say about that. Uh, it comes with the three wires, three phase. Uh, I've just uh, added my own. I just need to sort of uh, tidy this up before it goes back on. And uh, we just need to attach the blades. I've started to uh, assemble these. Not quite as per the instructions. So you get a, a very basic instruction set there. It doesn't really tell you. You have a thin plate. Uh, and then the, the main mounting uh, uh, plate. The thin plate goes on. Blades, the mounting plate. That then pushes on to the shaft. And uh, there's a bolt that will then secure that in place. Uh, you just have to make sure the thin plate goes on the outside. Uh, tighten up. I'm going to use some uh, uh, some uh, Loctite uh, thread uh, so that it uh, grips pretty well in the alloy. Um, it's a sort of I think it's uh, I think it's an alloy section at the back that it fits on. Uh, so I'll just put the third blade on, get it on, and then we'll lift it onto the tower and we'll see what happens.